All right, we're standing here inside the Roy Jones Junior Fight Academy with UFC superstar uh, Kevin Lee. And Kevin, just dying to ask you, man, what do you got against privileged white suburban kids? <laughs> I got everything against them, you know. I mean, especially against that kid, a kid like that. Uh, you know, you talking about the Sage Norcut thing. I got everything against them, you know. When you when you're doing it from this high up, you know, pops is waking you up, making you do it. I don't think you got the heart, you know. Uh, I think it's a lot harder to come from to come from nothing and do it uh, as opposed to everything being handed to you. And I think that's what it is, you know. I ain't saying that he ain't worked for it, but but uh, you know, it's been handed it to him on a, on a silver platter. So uh, well, I got everything still, against but him. But he still won the fights. And quite impressively, actually. True, but I ain't never fought a, 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 a Francisco Trevino who comes in five pounds overweight, has a muffin top, <laughs> slipped on a kick, you know? Uh, the kid doesn't even belong in the UFC to begin with, and, and they're feeding him to the wolves. I mean, I'm talking about the, the Trevino kid, you know? Yeah. He doesn't belong in there, and, and uh, they fed him, so. You know, it's easy to look good when you when you're getting fed. You know, you look at my record when I was five and zero at 19, 20 years old versus his record at five and zero. I mean, I blow him out the water. My my opponents were 57 and three before they fought me. He's fighting guys that were like 0 and three, 0 and four. Yeah, you're gonna look impressive. Knock that kid out with a fucking wheel kick. You know, do do all that. You you supposed to. That's what you're supposed to do. When you're fighting real real championship level fighters, it's, it's harder than what it looks. You seem to think that he's kind of been. Uh, you know, spoon fed and had. Do you, do you think he's similar to maybe Roger Wertz back you know a few years ago when when everybody thought he was going to be all world and then all of a sudden you know. He's, and so he's, 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 yeah, I mean, you know, and, and it's the same with uh, you know, they they had a couple guys that do that and and you know they go after the certain look, you know what I mean, the, the pretty boy, you know, uh, you know, the, you gotta the fight game, you gotta appeal to certain types of people and uh, you know he appealed to that rich white kid you know suburban you know whatever like people like to see that shit so they're gonna spoon feed them as much as possible before they uh introduce them to a tough fight which you know it is what it is but i ain't gonna stand by and just let it happen you know what i mean well you mentioned him being a pretty boy any uh any truth to the rumor that maybe it's just you're jealous because he might be the only guy in the ufc that's better looking than you from what i heard <laughs> I mean, you know, you see, you know, I, I, I try and look nice, you know, relatively, but, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, you know, it, it, it ain't none of that. I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that. So it, when it comes down to fight skills, you put my skills against his, and uh, you see who shine. I don't give him, you know, we ain't having no beauty contest. You know, I'll break his nose and make sure he never go to modeling again. You know? Well, you had uh, mentioned by him being handy things. You know, you're only what, 23 yourself. Yeah, yeah. So you're not exactly some old veteran here trying to. Nah, his... No, nah, I only been around the game, uh, you know. I only been fighting since I was 18, you know, and I just turned 23 two weeks, you know, two or three weeks ago. Uh, but you know, I had the long road, you know, I had the long hard road, uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's like it's like when you see the the coach's son come in and you know he's getting you know the Gatorade when you drinking water, you know, and you you the one who's really putting in the work and really carrying the team, uh, you know, you put a target on that kid's back, man. Fuck that kid. That's that's where I'm at. Do you think for a lot of fighters, um, as far as UFC goes, pushing, does it aggravate? I know it does, like, like you and some other guys, when you see people like like uh, Northcutt or, or you know, maybe Ron or Chuck, or people that are, are pushed, does that bother you guys that, that have done the hard work? And, not that they have it, but you, you got the wins and you see yeah, you're getting past them. Yeah, yeah, I mean a little bit, you know. When you see, uh, you know, whatever you see, when you see Dana ride him around in his Ferrari on a strip or whatever, you know, it, it, it is what it is, he, and he sees them without ever seeing the guy even fight, you know what I mean? Like, see the guy fight, you give him props, I respect that. But when you do it out of, you know, the kid ain't really fought nobody, you know, it, it, it is what it is, you know? When you do it out of, uh, you know, based on his looks, based on whatever, I got a problem with it. But isn't that kind of a marketing thing? UFC is a business, they got to sell, so you know, you have Ronda, you have... Uh... Like I said, I get it. I get it. I do, but I ain't gonna stand by and let it. You know, I ain't gonna stand by and let this kid take my shine. You know, I've been I've been the one that's uh, putting in the work in this division, and, and it's my division. You know, don't don't. I'm not gonna let this kid come in with one UFC fight and, and blow up bigger. It ain't gonna happen. So if if he wants to do that, get through me, and then more power to him. But uh, I ain't gonna let it happen until he does. You know, until he proves to me that he's a real fighter. The best way to do it is to fight me. So that's what Last it is. Last time we, we talked, you know, I mentioned a little about you being a bad, the bad guy, or a lot of people think you're, you know, arrogant or whatever. Uh, is that something that you, you're gonna embrace? You know, it's, it's if, if they want to put that on you, then it, go for it, it is. It is what it is. You know, uh, you know, now that I'm getting older. I'm starting to realize I'm just being myself, you know, and, and I've spent a long time trying to be somebody I'm not, and now it's like, fuck it, 
fuck it, whatever. You like me, you don't, fuck it. I really don't give a shit, you know? Like, you, you know, most of these people, like, I had a bunch of shit, people talking on Twitter, all this shit. You know, they would never come to my face and say that shit, so, uh, you know, I had one guy, you know, he was like 40 years old, and he came and he told me, oh, you jealous, get a life. I'm like, bro, you, you on Twitter trolling me, you're not even using your real name. You get, you know, you old enough to be my pops, and you telling me to get a life. Come on, man. I ain't, I ain't. I ain't. Don't be not forty year olds, man. It's wrong. <laughs> I mean, hey, when you ain't doing nothing, you know, and you talking about me, man, it's it is what it is, you know.